She studied accounting in school. Um, I am a certified accounting technician. I have also have a BS in accounting. Um, everything I know in tech design were things I learned by myself, but through tutorials, but mostly online, right? And I'm also a model. I'm six foot one. So in case anybody's looking to promote a product, I'm selling my market. <laughs> so a bit of a backstory for me is a major reason why I have why I made the decision to move more towards, techno towards technology and design is sort of getting myself informed about the future, about career relevance for tomorrow, about you know how to sort of have the kind of life that I want for myself as well. So being like an undergraduate in school, right? My third year in school, I basically started to you know look for other opportunities online, right? I did it. I, I was basically research, like I wake up every day and I run research skills of the future. How is accounting valid for the future? And I was just running crazy thinking about, uh, is a robot going to now someday <laughs> replace everything that I'm learning? But ultimately that journey for me has actually been great because it really helped me build my resilience. It really helped me, you know, Kind of stretch myself out of what I would originally be in, which is you know being analytical, trying to sort out the numbers, trying to you know do all of that. Of course, it's more than that, but yeah. So um, this journey of being product, working in product teams, being a product designer, has really been fulfilling more than you know where I'm coming from, and that's because of the opportunity that it gives me to actually um, take control of, I mean, when you're in, in product or in teams that actually let you do that, right, lets you, which is what we're discussing today, let you have that room to, you know, get your voice heard, not necessarily like, you know, you're being boastful about it, but, you know, what I can offer, right, as a person, being in a team that actually lets you um, sort of express that part of that part of me so yeah that's a bit of a backstory modeling taking nice pictures is something i do you know just to enjoy myself and i look i look forward to really doing a big time right working with big brands and stuff so i i, I basically my life is combining these three different aspects <laughs> and hoping to make a future out of it so yeah um i think i have that am i good to go on to... yes please just take it away <laughs> all right cool so um the journey of influence tips for product designers working in product teams now um let me just go so why should your influence matter right why should Oh, I know, I know Figma, I know how to design Figma, <laughs> I know XD, I know, I know how to use Envision Studio. In fact, I can do after effects, I can do everything possible, right? But why exactly should this influence, or why, why, why exactly should your, all the skills that I have learned, or all this, you know, everything that you have gathered, why should it actually, you know, matter in the grand scheme of things? Why should it matter in the business world, right? Why should you as a designer, why should you be seen as a unique part, as, a, as an important aspect of your business, right? So what does to influence mean, right? Different words, same mean, right? To guide, drive, to compel, to impact. At the end of the day, the goal itself is actually to shine light. Now, when I was like putting together this, um the slides right something that really really stood for me is how i mean i mean i've currently heard like different stories of maybe designers underpaying themselves uh, sorry undervaluing themselves or um just same ridiculous amounts even 
of when business owners seek for the needs of designers, right? And I mean, their companies that pay amazing well, right? But that you also see companies that, I mean, I think something happened on Twitter where somebody posted a job of 15,000 15, uh, for UI design. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying it's a terrible <laughs> offer, but yeah, it's a terrible offer. But moving forward, um, Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, sorry, I kind of have a cut. So, uh, moving forward, right? Yeah, we can hear yeah. you. I, I've realized how very important it is, right? As a person, right? Yep. As a designer, to actually know what exactly it is that you bring to the table, right? Like, it's not just, okay, you can design, oh, yeah, I website. Website is a good part of the business. It helps the business, you know, make sales, blah, blah, blah. Aside from that, Right, you need to understand how you, as a person, can actually, you know, step up, right, and become an integral part of the success of of teams that you you, you work with. Someone like uh, my my very first start in design, I, I had the opportunity to actually work in loads of teams, right. So like uh, my first hands-on experience was actually working different people and seeing how we can achieve you know this common goal right and that really helped me as a person really self self-reflect on like okay what is my impact right what what direct impact am i having right what drive am i giving this uh, this team this group of people right that would actually fuel the achieve the achievement of our goal right and when i when i look my background specifically because I, so I, I've been in more of the business thinking, right? I think that also has helped me kind of look at this in a, in a different way, right? Because I understand what it is like to design a really good looking design interface. You know, let's look, you know, put the color, the, 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 you know. But aside from that, there's something I kept asking myself. Adding my background, right, to commit to design has really helped me ask myself some questions, right? In terms of like, okay, what's actually the business benefit of what I'm doing, right? I mean, it, it, it's probably going to be different or it is different from people that have all their lives maybe been in the creative um, sector, right? Maybe not really, um, like they just more of the like, design person right not coming from the business side or you know all of that but that has really helped him to also understand what proposition as person can give to um can give to a client right so aside from the fact that i can design interfaces uh, i can create user flows i can create user stories you know i can do all the design work right i'm able to understand like business principles themselves like okay this is this is why this business will actually exist right so when i'm when i'm trying to look at the product right trying to come up with the flow the, sto the stories right it's easy for me to look at this part of you know the business case i think of how we actually like influence the business directly so i'm not my design decision is not based on the fact that I want to just design an interface, right? It's based on the fact that I sort of have consciously, consciously, intentionally try to gather my influence, gather what I can bring to the table, right? Uh, right? Put everything together. Now, everybody's story, everybody's story is different. Some people, uh, some people have never. Um, done anything accounting or business related right some people have always been in like the like the creative creative parts right whatever story it is that you have for yourself right whatever experience that it is that you have kind of gathered all through your journey in life i believe right there is a unique proposition to yourself i'm not saying you discover your purpose or all of that but there's something right that you can kind of bring, right, bring to the table, right, as 
a designer like like beyond just you know by using uh, design tools right he's actually trying to look i know everyone say you know business business i really believe and because of again influence because of you know the background that i've had right has kind of given me this way to look more at impact in terms of creating design solutions i don't know if every, everybody understands what i'm saying because at the end of the day the goal is to actually well, shine light the goal is to bring clarity to where the goal is to solve a problem the goal is to you know get an outcome right that's mostly what we're looking for. So, so the summary of what I'm saying is that as individuals, right, we should be able to, you know, know what it is that we bring with ourselves, right? What it is that accompanies us as individuals. That's really what I'm, that's, that's really what. So how do you actually, you know, like get into a team and make a mark, right? It's not like you're trying to be boss football full or whatever because i can remember a project where i was i was supposed to um because i currently am the team right to start up and initially when we when we were about to start the project there was ways in which um the founder i right, say wanted to go about it in terms of oh no let's not we don't need to do this or we need to we just let's, let's just start designing the ui blah, blah, blah. and because of Again, keynote, influence, right? What drive can I, like, how can I guide us to success, right? I'm able to look at it and say, you know what? We're not going to do it this way because that's not going to give us an outcome, right? But this is what we should do, right? We should follow procedures, right? We should do this. This is the outcome it's going to have, even for the business, right? I'm able to communicate right in a way that even someone that doesn't understand what design is like in its sense in what figma whatever is is also able to understand in like a lay in the terms that they probably understand which is business your, your, your client is probably definitely or probably a business a businessman or woman so how do you talk how do you communicate this um, value proposition to them right so tips from my experience. So um, another story is I, I've, I've had the opportunity to consult for a large corporation, fairly large company, not fairly, but a large company. And that that happens to be where I learned a very um, a very important lesson, I believe, is helping me kind of analyze my own influence, right? Remember the question that, we, and this is one thing I want us to, to go if I'm going to live here today, right? This is one thing I want us to, be to answer. Why should my why should my influence matter? What is my proposition, right? Why should it matter to you? Why? What is your unique proposition? Know it, right? Know what it is. What can I give to this kind that is peculiar to myself, right? Avoid intimidation. Now, the reason I wrote this this avoid intimidation is because of the lesson I learned working in a large corporation, right? Where the communication, you know, between the seniors and the juniors, really, you know, every, everything has its own dynamic way of existing, right? And what I've, what I've sort of learned being in that space is how, you know, that voice, you know, that, that you're trying to let out to the world, you know, you, you should be able to always you know, maintain your own reach as an individual, right? Because you know your influence, you know what it is that you're bringing to the table. You're conscious of it, like you're aware of it intentionally, right? So you should know how to, you know, you're going to meet people that are smarter, that knows, you know, that big building product, right? That have done different things, but you should not allow that into the to you. This is something I personally went through and I had to sit down myself to ask, to ask myself why why did it happen that way you know what can I do better for tomorrow how to you know watch my emotions in, in terms of that right because what happens when you're intimidated you kind of you kind of like 
even when you have something valuable to say, you kind of box, you kind of box yourself into like not being able to truly express yourself. It, a good thing is also being aware of that and knowing how to conquer it, right? Your influence softly, softly, it doesn't have to be, or you're shouting, you're making your point, but it should be made, right? That's the journey. Thinking beyond the pixels, thinking beyond how the interface should look, thinking beyond, you know, em empath empathy for the team, right? Your team, your, uh, the client, you know, the client side, your own team of, you know, designers as well, right? If, and all of you come together to form a team at the end of the day, you know, your client side, you, your team, if you, if you work with other designers, maybe an illustrator, uh, a brand designer, all of that, right? You have to also, like, empath. I know we say this empathy word, empathize with your user, create solutions for them, but when you really... When you really like understand the, the needs of your team, right? In terms of like, you know, the product owners themselves, they probably even haven't figured so many things out. That is, this is also a lesson I have learned, right? And what will happen is when you go ahead to now push solutions, it, it might come back and I come back to your head, right? It might come back and follow your head. I don't even if anybody has experienced that before, right? But it's important to, to also, like, sort of have empathy for your team, right? And understand, like, it doesn't, it's just true, like, observing, right? Observing, you know, what is being clamored on. Because I remember working in a team where the most important thing to the owner, right, it kept clamoring on it. Like, it kept, you know, mentioning, mentioning it. So there's a way you can actually observe your team, observe your you know, the people you report to everybody, right? And kind of know what it is that that is expected, right? Just kind of have a feel of, you know, what, what the current situation is like, like what has been an issue, maybe a bit of issue about the project, you know, maybe, uh, is there a previous, have there been a previous solution? Like what's just, what's the drive, right? Of the team, right? That, that, that that's the really important thing, right? And also to learn from your mistakes. As I move to working in different projects, right, I feel like I move better because everything I'm able to learn in terms of even ones that were not successful, right? Or I'm in the process of being successful, right? What I've sort of learned is that. Those mistakes have just helped me because when the mistakes happen, it's like I'm more of trying to dig, dig in into okay, why did it happen? Um, I said, it, 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 a story I want to tell is um, a project I was working on, and we had like a Google document, you know, the requirements and all of that. And, and I looked at it and I'm like, oh, uh, I, I really believe you need to do. We need to run a research, right? We really need to run a research. And the client, the founder, right, seemed to believe, uh, no, 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 we don't need to do that. And I'm like, oh, I'm trying to explain the, the proper, why we should do it, right? I'm like, okay. So I decided to bring on a researcher, a user researcher, right? And I'm like, okay, this is not even the budget of the team, right? But I will pay the researcher, right? I'll pay for it out of my out of my payment. So I'm not putting it on, on you to pay for it, right? But even at that, right? The the product, the client is the client still doesn't want to run a research. Still wants an interface delivered ASAP, right? That 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 alone has helped me kind of different things come to play in that, right? It has helped me kind of learn from the mistake of maybe it is me, maybe I'm the one that doesn't really understand the needs of this person, right? Maybe I just don't understand what it is that I need, right? Or maybe it's my mistake for, <laughs> for kind of like covering what my needs. But my needs are based, you know, my needs as a designer, right? My needs to give you a good result is, 
is totally based on you know what in the process right I, I need to be able to you know go i need to be able to get hands dirty you know do the research you know work with the data so that i can make informed decisions right but not everybody and the truth is not everybody is going to understand so much that <laughs> you you try to sell the idea so much that like you might just be like you know what okay um it's fine i, I, I let's let's just let this project just be going like i'm just uh, I, <laughs> yeah it's just it's just that another thing is to understand why right why 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 i just realized now that i didn't edit i didn't put in the text understand why why the business goal exists why the team needs exist why this outcome exists why why does why are we why are we why does this feature even exist like what are we actually trying to like how can i pull myself in the overall understanding of what you're actually doing right because there's something i mean let me go back to the, to the first so, uh, let me go back. My craft is my passion, right? I, I want to be able, uh, because I'm passionate about it, I want to be able to put myself in the project so much. I mean, everybody's going to, at the end of the day, as you grow, you realize um, this project is not for me. That's part of your influence as well. If you, if you look and you've seen it, that um, uh, there's no way, even if you want to, this influence that you are trying to exert, that you are trying to give, there's no way you can possibly give it to this thing. You will not, like, there's something, uh, 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 like, everybody's going to experience different things, right? What frustration that you get to that, you'll be like, you know what, um, thank you, I, 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 I don't want this anymore, right? Things that don't help you, things that the the team the team itself doesn't even help you, right? So another thing I'll add is also realizing that you know for you to give your influence, you also need to realize if you're in a place where you can actually um, exert this influence, like you can express it, and yeah, 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 giving the opportunity to actually do that, right? Very important. For in all this, in all in everything. You know your influence finally is not your what at the end of the day. If you know what you can, you know, if you know how you can drive, if you are conscious even anyway. So I don't want to sound, <laughs> uh, you know, it's not, at the end of the day, it's your what, it's yours, yeah? Well, obviously, it's God inspired for those that believe in God. <laughs> know your what, right? Don't, you know, that value yourself don't i know it's a journey i myself i'm speaking with you i um part of the resolutions that i made to myself this year was to just know that even though i am far from you know pro or whatever or, you know what are you call that I, at every journey i want to be able to share to other people because we are all experiencing like different um we're all in different um, spaces we are experiencing different people right and it's very important to not lose yourself in all of that right so okay before therapy <laughs> right mindfulness meditation yeah but mindfulness and meditation right um keep learning improve your skills uh, improve your creativity skills itself, right? Practice mindfulness. So, so I really want to even like talk about this aspect, this work therapy that call call it, right? Because um, I'm big on like mental health, mental wealth, paying attention to my thoughts, paying attention to my emotions, paying attention to how I feel. So that I can learn from them, so that I can be a better a better person, so I can make better decisions. Very important, right? So for me, for me to even be a better influence, for me to be able to guide change, for me to be able to, you know, 
fuel influence, right? I have to keep learning. I have to keep improving myself. I have to make sure that I am... There's a lot, there are loads of information out there. But I have to intentionally, intentionally, it's intention, right? <laughs> I have to make sure that I keep learning because I am myself for an example, right? Being able to bring on different aspects of what I know in this, as in this uh, aspect, in you know, the business aspect, right? In the product design aspect, in the UI, you know, what, what are my strengths actually? Because some people are really good with visuals, while some are not with the process, like the coming up with the flows and the research and all of that. So also, it's, you know, you have to keep learning. You have to, you know, so that you can even, you can even like save, save your team from falling. <laughs> Sometimes it can happen that you'll be the one in the best position to save your team from falling, simply because you know something that can be of value, simply because you are exerting your influence, right? Right? Oh, in all this, let's not also forget our minds, our emotions, our thoughts, you know, just being, um, being mindful. Yeah, that's the Being conscious, right, of our existence, yeah, being conscious of the kind of things that we're taking, also being conscious of even toxic things, right, that, 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 that also can exist, right, being, you know, just generally taking time for yourself, taking time for also, you know, because let me go back to what I was saying before. Because for you to really know why you, your influence should matter, right? For you to really, you have to, it's a lot of self-awareness. It's, it's a lot of, right, knowing your strength. I know we say this a lot and, you know, know your strength, know, okay, ah, I did my sabi duo, and I sabi John, well, right? This one, I sabi am, let me say, you know, sabi am, that's it, right? You know, and why should it matter in your, to your team, right? Why should they all, why should all this also matter to other people? It's, it's really a lot of self-awareness, it's really a lot of getting to know yourself, it's really a lot of, um, so speaking to other people that know your, that know your strength, and I really need to share it with you as well, right? You know, it's all about it's all about the light that you're trying to shine. It's all about the light that you're trying to shine. It's all about the light that you're trying to shine. Yeah, I, you know. Um, so, uh, it's all about the light once again. <laughs> so, I think I would just kind of stop here. Say hi to me. Let me talk at gmail dot com. I have a blog. Uh, we like call it a blog now, a uh, page on Instagram called Learn with Toby. You can check it out. Um, now, this is not supposed to be a website. I made a lot of typographic error, but um, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Yeah? I'll do better next time. <laughs> so, yeah, just um, I, I really wish everybody um, success going forward. I hope you are able to at least pick just even if just one thing away from this um i really hope that also in everything that we're saying we don't neglect ourselves as well um whatever in pursuing of money pursuing of influence we don't lose the source of this you know we don't lose our souls <laughs> so to say so um, i'm just gonna stop here i i'm just going to stop here i um I'll leave it to Osaz. So just let me know if you have any questions. Just chat me and I'll right. chat me up. Yeah. Uh, Toby, thank you so much for that session. And um, for me, it's really just a reminder because a lot of things that you have said has to do with like understanding. I, I, I discovered that, you know what, influence is heavily dependent on how much you understand who you are and what you bring to the table, understanding 
what your, who, your the team the team you're working for you should, the mistakes you've made and just observing and i think that is something that every one of us here should take to heart that these are things that are part of the process you're going to have to observe you're going to have to learn from your mistakes and you need to be doing enough in fact to have enough mistakes to learn from seeing the the, the, the need to refuel and all of that i just want to appreciate you so much for this thank you so much and um, guys um, thank you for joining us please ask your questions we still have a few more minutes till we end so please if you have any questions ask them in the in the chat um, in the chat section we also have um, a feedback form that I would like you guys to feel while we're at it just to get better and better for the future sessions and everything but please ask your questions in the in the in the chat se session Hi, and uh, guys, if you have any questions for me, it's just just um, chat me. So I have a gift, like I said, I think I put this, I tweeted this. I have a gift for someone to ask your questions. Uh, uh, can I read the gift, please? <laughs> no, you're yeah, yeah, exempted. <laughs> Uh, how about <laughs> I didn't see that in the T and C's now. How about <laughs> okay? If your questions get you there, oh, yeah, you wish you ask the questions. So pick away. Eh? Let's take this home. Um, so if you don't have any questions, you can just sort of what has what's something that's really helped you uh, in your own journey. A be of influence to your team, you know. Just, just let's let's learn from you as well. So you can just drop that in the chat, right? What is something? You know, I think I mentioned a few things that for me has worked. So if there's anybody that has, you know, an additional tip for us, you know, just you just drop it in the chat. Thanks. All right, so Daniel Abudu says, he says, learn to talk when you're uncomfortable with something. I think that's pretty much about feedback, not just holding things in when you feel like, oh, I think this could be done better. But instead of what you say, to just keep it in, in, I guess that's also really good. Simeon Fadamsi says, in times of having, okay, this is a question. Now he says, in times of having doubt about your work or feeling like an imposter, how do you value yourself? Okay, so um, I, Toby. I, Simeon, in terms of having doubt, I can't hear well. But Hi, Simeon. Sorry, my network kind of. So I just want to answer your question. So in time, so this really, really boils down to objective self-reflection, to be honest. It's kind of, how do you actually um, separate the fact that this damn thing is actually imposter syndrome or it's that I really need to step up my game? <laughs> I mean, I know, I, me personally, I can be really hard on myself in terms of, in terms of like what I have to do and learn and all of that. But I've also learned to like, there are some times where this one is not imposter, imposter syndrome. This one is, I need to sit down and learn. Like this one is not even anybody's impostering anything, right? So you, are, you have to really understand where that feeling is coming from. If it, you know maybe something that you need to get better at, that you're not, or you know, you actually do what work can you produce and what are other people even saying about it, right? Before you, before you go ahead to, you know, <laughs> before you go ahead to 
Is he condemn yourself? That's what to say. Yeah. So add the Andrew seniority bias. So this is really something that you know. Working in a really large corporate, in a really large firm, has opened my eyes to this, right? Because there are people that have had, they've had like say, twelve years, twelve years experience in this field that has come to say you want to design something, something, something for, right? And they have their own perspective as to how things should go, right? But there's also something that this career, this you know, tools that we have as designers also offer us, right? which is to, you know, there's a difference between opinions and, like, actual, actual facts, right? So, um, basically, what, I, what I'm really trying to say is, it's okay to just, oh, you understand, okay, this bias is it really coming from a point of, like, I did not do my job well. It's really coming from a point of this person's personal preference. And I think that boils down to just asking questions. So, okay, if you give me this feedback, well, why, why? Like, I need to be able to take your by your concept as constructive um, opinion or constructive feedback to my work, right? Because trust me, I know it's easier, it's easier said, right? But when you're actually in it, it's much more difficult because I've experienced it before. But at the end of the day, it still all boils down to this influence. If your influence can speak for you, it sh definitely should speak for you, right? So um, it just all boils down to just sort of looking at how to just create a balance. It's, it's very difficult, but it's very difficult, but it's rewarding at the end of the day. And I feel like it's always going to be an ongoing journey. No, but I've not arrived. We are all becoming. <laughs> yeah, we are all becoming. And it's really a tough one. You know, yeah, it's really a tough one. Yeah, um, I'm done. Hi, Osas, are you there? <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. Let's all go tell me out before. Do we have any more questions? People, ask your questions and feel free to also drop what has helped you in um, let's say, asserting your influence in your team and what we can learn from. You can also feel free to share. By the way, we're going to be sharing the feedback forms also. So please just spend some minutes. Oh, it's not even up to two minutes of your time to help us fill the feedback form. All right, so we can get better for everyone. And if you aren't following our Twitter, please go ahead and follow our Twitter right now. So my Instagram is Toby Williams. It's meant to be Instagram. And I really put my phone number. It's okay. You can just give me a call at an appropriate time. <laughs> well, yeah. Just...